Hello, this is Vicente Farley, and I'm going to show you how to letter comics in Adobe Illustrator. There are many ways to letter comics, but this in particular um, is a particular way that I um, trained myself to doing, and it's been pretty effective with me. Alright, first what you want to do is get out a layer, get out a piece of paper. Go to File press new the usual size for an artist to draw on is 11 by 17 so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're, we're gonna work on now because you don't want to affect anything on the page in particular you don't want to you don't want to do anything to the page what we're gonna do is lock this layer so as you see I can't do anything to this layer. The layer is going to help you. This is going to save you every now and then. I'm going to make two layers. I'm going to make the second one. We're going to name it balloons. And we're going to name this um, third layer text. There are many tools that you're going to use for lettering comics. Um, those in particular, the text tool, the ellipse tool, the pen tool, the selection tool, direct selection tool, there's the fill, stroke, sometimes the hand tool. And yeah, there's numbers of ways of doing this. Right now, let's zoom in for a moment. Let's zoom in. So we know what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is press T. That's the shortcut for text. And we'll just make a box like this. If you were working professionally, that would be the size 10 point for the font size. Because I'm showing you a demonstration and I want you to see what I'm doing here, we'll make it Fourteen, and as always, you gotta make it. If especially for a dialogue balloon, gotta align it center. Now, with the font, a lot of people would automatically go with Comics on Serif. Um, that's it. That's what I thought it was gonna be, but it's not really attractive, especially when um. If you were to letter comics professionally, a lot of people stay away from it, and it's pretty basic. The reason why we would automatically go for it is because that's probably one of the first comics um, fonts that's used that looks like it is actually appropriate for comics. But no, there are other styles, there are other fonts that go on and on it. There are websites you can go to to try and download these and install them into your computer so they can use the fonts. I'll put the links in the description below. But the comic font that I'm going to work with is Anime Ace um, 2.0. And we're just going to put in our dialogue. So, what we're going to put in. Okay. We'll just put in. Um, name is Vincente Farley. There, simple enough. Um, because you want this to be accurate, and let's try and This should be good. I'll, you have your okay. Now you have your text. Everything is well. Now you want to go to your balloons. You want to make a balloon around that. Before I go into that, let's just show you. You need to be um 
aware of what you're doing, how your shape is going to go, is going to look. That's an example of if you weren't to pay attention to it. Because this has, if you look here, this has a black fill and no stroke. You don't want that. What you want is a black stroke is a black stroke and white fill. Now you have now that it's set up, you can go to the center and because you we want it to fill up we want to encompass this um this sentence here what we're going to do put it in the center to the point where it says center and we're going to hold on to alt giving us that cursor meaning we're going to draw from the center to the point where it encompasses it there you go Now, let's say the circle's fine, but you want it to give it more of that classic look. You want it to be more squashed. That's where you take the direct selection tool, click on the path or the anchor points, click it once, and then pull it in a little. Do the same thing here. Do the same thing with the tops and the bottoms. And there you have it it's more fitting to the to the text. Now but what about the pointers? That's where the pen tool comes along. Make three you make a triangle pointing to the character who's speaking and then you use your direct selection tool bring it in and because we want this to work is what we're going to do we're going to draw that and that's where you get to the pathfinder you click this icon and that's to unite that's to unite everything what you have selected you're going to unite and you just have the basic outline and there we have our balloon now what if you wanted to another way of making one of those balloons what if you wanted a balloon where it has one balloon and then it pauses and then go into another balloon there's another way there you could use the same technique that I just showed you with this one in particular um with the same tools there's another way of doing going about it now let's go into the text make another text and what we're going to text then is Sorry, he's giving me trouble. So what we're gonna do? Let's close this for a moment. Make a new one. Lock this. Balloons. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the previous example. We're going to have text, center that, I'll just bring up the font size, change the font. And then we'll type in Oops. 
so you know what for this type of for this you know let's stick with that just a little lazy but you wanted to make it a little big if you wanted to give it that big booming noise by all means go and do that if you think that will help but what we're gonna do instead of that we'll use the bada boom Al you want to be really designy with this um let's say okay instead of because of the statement that I'm gonna put in I am Reptar hear me roar let's change this particular style um okay because reptar is green let's try green the fill will be green while the stroke will be black and we're gonna have that as probably four point that should be one now let's try That was too much. Let's just bring it down to two. That should be good. I am Reptar. Make that a little bigger. Now, that's because the reason that happened was because my tool was my box was not big enough so here we go big enough should encompass that and you have the ellipses that's good um now you want to hear me roar part let's just select out of that create another tool um create another text box and it's going to be in that same that same design have the fill be green stroke be black and have the stroke point be five at two now we're going to say hear me roar now I deselect deselect everything you have your you have your statements how we're going to make that pause and make the balloons work like we did in the past um in the past example, what we're gonna do get use the select on um, the ellipse tools, but the fill is gonna be white. The stroke is still gonna be black, but we're going to change it to back to one. Now, like I said before, we go to the center of the statement, hold on alt. And because we want to give it the size of it's very loud, we want to give it the impression of hugeness. We're not going to make this balloon fit entirely over that. Now you know what? Now looking back at it, let's just make the fill huge, um, a bit bolder. That should be good the the stroke should be a little bigger now as an artist let's see green we want the color fill to be what's the word complementary complementary for it. green would be red so let's go with red hmm not most attractive but there you go you have it 
we're going to do the same thing with this one. Hold on Alt and drag it, but not to the point where it can hold everything. Now you have these two. Now, if you feel, if you want to, you can squish, you can try working the, um, let's lock the text, try and make it squash, by all means, you're free to do that, give it the more classic look. Now to connect them, use the pen tool. Make you have them connecting to each other. And then we'll make another one. and we'll put that in here now like what we did before we're going to take the selection tool direct selection tool drag it all over the balloons and then with the pathfinder merge them now you have that sort of um, pause and you can connect them like so and like I said, you can be creative with what you want to do. You can be creative with your balloons. You can be creative with what your um, text is. Like I said, there's um, the links are going to be in the description below. And you can look for the text or the fonts that you want to use for your comics. So, there it is. Hope you got everything from what I taught you, what I told you and if not you can still try and work it out on your own there, there's no this is not the official rule for it it's the basics that I see it's the basics and there's like I said there's more ways there's all types of ways that you can work this out on making on lettering your comics so until next time this is Vincente Farley I'm out later